Yes, you and I are on this awesome manifestation of the grace of God. I know you were with me last night in prayer and the spirit of the Lord just seized us and moved us to a dimension of fulfillment of God's destiny and high calling. And I'm excited to see you fulfill the call and purpose of God in this present move of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for the anointing, the only teacher in the church, the spirit of the living God that has awakened us to our identity in Christ. God, you have taken us out of the kingdom of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the dear son of God. You have revealed to us, in us, and through us that you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, from the plans of darkness, from the grip of the enemy's initiatives that try to snare us. Father, you have bought us by blood and raised us in power so that your name would be glorified in all the earth. We open up our spirit to you, God, today, and we ask you to give us, your children, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, that the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, we know the hope to which we are called and what the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of your power to us who do believe, according to the working of your mighty power which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead. You set him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all principality, power, might, dominion, every name that is named not only in this world, but in that which is to come. And Father, you put everything under his feet, gave Jesus to be head over everything to us, the called out ones, your church, the body of Christ, the fullness of you that fills all in all. Holy Spirit of God, I yield myself to you as my brothers and sisters do. So we hear you, we move in you, we identity, our identity is sealed, authenticated as being from God yourself. And I thank you, Lord, today that we hear your voice. God, we set our heart to not have any hardness, any judgment, any ridicule, any resistance. God, we position ourselves in a yieldedness of abandonment to know you and to fulfill your destiny and call. And I thank you, Lord, that today is a day like no other in the grace of God, fulfilling your purpose and revealing your nature in us in the mastery name of Jesus. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, as we're on this journey, I want to read to you Hebrews chapter 12, verse 25. And as we get into our discussion at the end of our time together on Daily Victory, I want you to write the scripture down and make it a a, a clear and purposeful intent that you communicate and share from your heart. What does this mean to you? Listen to it. It says in Hebrews 12, verse 25, see that you refuse him not that speaks. Now listen carefully. That is clear and dis definitive that God is speaking. His voice is overwhelming. He is communicating unlimited evidence of his person through his voice in your spirit. See that you refuse him not that speaks. For if they escaped not who refused him that spoke on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaks from heaven. Now let's take this in a perspective of, do we hear the voice of God? Can we identify that we are under the, the direction of the almighty grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus and is his communication by differential 
clear and distinct in us? Are we moving as the offspring of God into the fulfillment of what God has called us individually and collectively as his body too? Well, it's a mandate of God that we do not refuse him that speaks. Because when he spoke on earth, nobody escaped. So now he's speaking from his throne in heaven. What happens now that we hear his voice and we must abandon our action and obedience to him and do his will? I want you to pray in the spirit with me. Holy Spirit of God, I open my heart to you today. God, our life is set on one course and one plane and one direction, and that is vertical to worship, to honor, to bow to you, and to receive from you the unquestionable, inerrant word of utterance in our spirit. So let's pray in together. Father, we open our spirit wide to hear and to execute the counsel of God on this earth. God, so that our spirit and our actions are in line with your utterance. Father, there's nothing in us that desires resistance and re re any irrepute against your word. God, our passion, our pursuit is you. We seek you with our whole heart. We pour out our life to you to singly experience your presence, your power, your anointing, to move through us, to deliver through us. Bedo shelim, brando skada, dede shelim bro, brando krishko de mankada skede pabado de ude echi wuna monda sele porto. Fire of God, we yield ourselves to you, for you and you alone are almighty in our life. Spirit of God, as we yield, speak to us. Utterance of God, reveal in us. I sense in my spirit a supernatural passion within you to seek after, to identify, and to validate your personal presence of God. As he reveals himself, as he demonstrates himself alive in unquestionable authority, there is in this time that we operate in a clear and exacting word. Listen, it says his voice, verse 26 of Hebrews 12, his voice then shook the earth. Now he's promised saying yet once more, I shake not the earth, but also heaven. This word yet once more, signifies the removing of the things that are shaken as of the things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Everything that's made is shaken. Everything that's identified as human in origin is shaken. Everything the enemy has initiated is shaken. And why is it shaken? Wherefore, verse 28, 
we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire, shaking fire voice. As we take this scripture in Hebrews chapter 12, it is not something that we take lightly in the core direction of our being. It is what we set on fire with the ignition of the authority of the utterance of God. And we declare your word is a hammer and breaks the rock in pieces. Your word is a fire and it pierces through to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and goes out and traces out every thought and intent of the heart, goes down to the joints and marrow. Father, we speak the release of this living word to heal by the stripes of Jesus, the sinew, the muscle, the tendon, the ligament. I speak healing virtue into the bone marrow. I command blood disease. You are rebuked. Loose your hold. I send forth the healing virtue of the word of God into the red blood cells. I speak, release the oxygen, release the healing virtue, release the nutrients, the hormones, transfer into the restoration of the body. I break the bands of the dysfunction of the hypothalamus. I speak to you, you obey the voice of God. Healing virtue, healing virtue releases now as the Holy Spirit is moving in this moment of time, engulfing the children's lives, delivering the oppressed, setting at liberty them that are bound. Father, your presence is so precious. Your presence is so precious for me to walk, to hear you, and to know your ways. God, you've instructed me to teach and to train your children in your word. You've instructed me to build up your body so that we could do the works of the ministry. And God, every man, every woman, every child at the hearing of my voice is under the authority of that utterance that you called when you spoke for me to come back to Delaware and launch this ministry grace of God called victory, called Jesus experience that releases the bands of oppression and restores to the simplicity of the gospel, the body of the living Christ. So Father, I ask you today to breathe life as the entrance of your word brings life and light. It unveils simplicity in us. God, your word is a lamp to our feet, a light unto our path. It illuminates the next steps we take and it shows the far reaching influence of you working together with all things that are called into being because all things work together for good to them who are the called of God, who love you, with all of our heart. And I thank you, my Father, for the utterance, the clearing of the way, the healing virtue. My God, I bless you. What do we do when we have such a grace given to us? How do we conduct ourselves? How do we walk, walk humbly before the living God? How do we be conversant with each other with words of life and blessing and healing and strength and joy? What are we called to as the offspring of God except to build up each other on our most holy faith, praying individually in our spirit, praying corporately with each other, speaking the word of life so that we can hold it forth and see this word transform humanity. 
You see, the utterance of God is in the earth. We are in, as I shared, the beginning movement of his spirit in a global move of his anointing that is now on this earth. I'm speaking from the spirit of God, knowing him, being in his presence these last 50 some years and knowing that God has fulfilled his destiny without question and without error through his children that will obey him. That's what God's calling us to. Listen to the last scripture God put in my spirit from Sunday. It says in 1 Peter 2, 12, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. The day of visitation. Is that the day when Jesus returns and splits the, the sky and steps in through the eastern gate of Jerusalem and reclaims the city as the city of the king? Is that the day where he brings judgment upon man and the dead in Christ rise first and we are caught up together to be with the Lord? Is that that day of visitation or is it a day of his visiting the earth in power as we're experiencing now and it's escalating and increasing and the dead shall rise and the word shall go forth and restore and heal and deliver and the power of God shall be a form that man shall have an identity that'll be transformed into that image from glory to glory by his spirit. Yedo celebrato kodo celebrando kine masile proto, proto tos katande karni pande ko e chine mungao dai li protagai. For there is a work of darkness that is being abated and aborted at this moment in your life. There are strongholds that have been set at attention to depart by the power of my anointing that is arising within you. So you. Yield to me who is almighty. Speak through my voice that is in power and command with unfailing faith that'll stand in the day of temptation and not bow. That'll stand in the day of trial and not cave in. That'll stand in the day of the work of my spirit and so perform it. So yield to me and I will perform that which I speak. Father, I thank you for that tongue and interpretation. I thank you for the ones that are with us. God, that will obey your voice. And I pray today. God, this is like no other day. From last night's prayer to today, we're in the spirit of God moving to the fulfillment of his utterance. And I believe God is speaking, speaking such a word that we, the body of Christ, must obey his utterance. There is in this moment of time, the voice of God that's speaking that which the body of Christ, the work of the ministry here in Jesus' experience. We have gone through great trial right in this recent past, some of you have seen interruptions in our broadcast and dysfunction in our, in our lighting and that surge has to be paid for. We, the body of Christ, God is speaking for you and I to sow, to release our faith and to see the grace of God use us in the fulfillment of that which the enemy intended for harm. You see, because of you hearing the voice of God in giving, the enemy will have no place to get recognition for what he tries to do to interrupt the gospel and the kingdom of God. So give as you're hearing in your spirit. Abandon yourself to this voice of God and sow that which God is speaking to you. 
Some God is speaking to give $1,600. Some he's speaking to give $2,500. Some he's speaking to give $20,000. i am hearing, and God, as he's speaking, just obey his voice. Whatever he says to you, if he says $50, if he, whatever he speaks, obey what he says. Watch what God does, and we're going to see the fulfillment of everything the enemy intended for harm is going to be turned for good. Now, I'm asking every single one of you to get on this phone call, and I want you to share what it means, what has God been saying, what is happening in your spirit with each other, whether it could be a question, I don't understand it, it could be I'm not hearing, whatever, I want you to express and share because we are all here together to do the will of God. God bless you. I love you. See you tomorrow, Lord willing.